In this video we will have a quick look into the open subdivision uh, modifier. Uh, it's a really nice method for freeform modeling in 3D Studio Max and uh, really easy to learn. In this example we just started with a really simple box. I added uh, some edit uh, poly modifier on top and I normally always work with um, I always work with animate mode because if I just work with animate mode I am definitely able to change the parameters afterwards which is uh, which is really handy. Check these ones. Oh, so you can just have a look. Okay, let's have a look at the open subdivision modifier. Just choose it out of my uh, list. Here we go. And uh, you have it. Uh, you have a subdivision of one iteration. You can increase uh, the iterations, and with three iterations, it already looks uh, nice and smooth. And best case, uh, if you want to see how many polygons you actually have, you just add uh, an added poly modifier on top. And here again, you see that with three uh, iterations, uh, tessellation is already quite high. And if I increase it, uh, you can see that it gets higher and higher and there's a point where your computer just collapses. so iteration of 3 is fine. There are a lot of settings you can uh, do but we want to do it uh, uh, fast and you can probably watch other videos to get uh, into this uh, a little bit further. Uh, it works on edges and it works on the vertice points so I just t t I take my edit poly on top, I just put it underneath and uh, I just go into my edges and uh, I want to select my edges and with this I just go into show end result toggle off so I have a better way of uh, selecting my edges which I do right now and uh, I just go into show end result toggle on again and my uh, four edges are selected. So what you can adjust is you can just um, can just uh, adjust the crease and if I just uh, adjust the crease you can see that from a smooth uh, crease it just goes to uh, a sharp corner. You can do this on edge level but you can also do it on a vertex level. Uh, if I go again and say show end result toggle off uh, then I can just choose for example these vertex point and um, I go again into show end result toggle on and under vertex point uh, just go down now you can also change the crease and you can see what's happening it just goes to a sharp uh, um, to a sharp vertex point uh, corner and um, here we go if you want to see uh, the creases really with sharp uh, uh, sharp edges, uh, then you best case um, put um, a smooth modifier on top, just go and my uh, selection and I just uh, choose my smooth modifier and I put it on top of my open subdivision and uh, then I go into auto smooth and you can see that uh, now you have a really nice uh, corner and everything is um, uh, like, uh, like expected actually. There's an even better way of uh, how to control your vertex points and your edges. I just switch off my edit poly where I change my creases so everything, every edge and every vertex points again have the crease uh, zero. And uh, what I do, I just um, add a crease set. The crease set has to be underneath my open uh, sub a subdivision modifier and uh, what I can do I can just open the hierarchy of my preset and you can see that you can work on vertex mode and you can select uh, vertex points and you can work on edge mode. You also have different ways of how to select your edges. For example if I just choose this one I go into wing then I just select it as a wing and uh, things like this. I just do it normally now with my uh, mouse cursor and uh, shift. And uh, you are able to um, define presets. You just go into uh, this presets uh, menu and go into create preset. 
and uh, I just give it a name uh, sorry I already did it here and uh, I just rename it and uh, just say this is my preset um, part one not a great name but doesn't matter and uh, if I just change my crease and uh, now to one then you can see that uh, the crease is completely uh, uh, completely sharp edges is also related to my smooth modifier on top that you can see it uh, properly so what I can also do is I can just um, select uh, these two edges and uh, go on right mouse click uh, preset part one and I can add it to some my selection so uh, this is what's happening uh, uh, happening right now same thing you can also just select one and just say right mouse click uh, subtracted from selection so there are a lot of op options or you just uh, go and uh, go into vertex and choose uh, these vertex points for example and uh, add another crease head set part uh, to vertex okay go into uh, create and here again we just uh, adjust my crease and you can see what's happening with my uh, vertex point and uh, with this you have a really nice way of how to uh, control your shape and uh, how to make it uh, nice and smooth In the last example, I'll just say part 3 and uh, edge, go into create edge and here I forgot to select my edges. So what I do is I just select uh, this one, this one, this one and I turn my model around and I just select uh, this one. Okay. I go into right mouse click and just say add um, selection to set and I just uh, quiz it and you can just see uh, what is happening and it has a big impact of my design and this is a way of how uh, you're really able to uh, model smoothly uh, your 3D objects and it's a even better way of controlling it than using Turbo Smooth or Mesh Smooth and thanks for watching.